Hello guys, good afternoon. So, let's try to solve uh, systems of linear equations uh, into variables. Okay, so as you can see here on the board, we have here 3x minus y is equal to 7 and 2x plus y is equal to 8. So, let's try to solve, let's find, uh, let's try to find uh, the values of x and y, okay? So, first thing there, uh, by elimination method, so let's just add this. We have... Uh, since yung y natin, magkaiba yung signs, negative and positive and bang y, or negative 1y plus 1y, or just 1y minus 1y, that is 0 in a way. Okay, so that's why it's cancelled. And then 3x plus 2x, that is 5x, okay? And then that is equal to 7 plus 8, that is 15. Now, let's just divide this one by 5 and this one by 5. So, cancel that. We have x is equal to 3. Now, since our x is equal to 3, we can use... Uh, any of these two uh, equations. Okay, shall I say I'm gonna use uh, the first one. So we have 3x minus uh, y is equal to 7. Okay, so 3 and then substituting the value of x which is 3. So we have there 3 times 3 minus y is equal to 7 because our x is equal to 3 which is here, okay? And so this one, 3 times 3, that is 9. So we have here 9 minus y is equal to 7 and then Bringing it here, it becomes negative. So we have negative y uh, is equal to 7 minus 9, right? So 7 minus 9, that's negative 2. So negative y is equal to negative 2. Dividing this one by negative 1, kasi I understood my 1 here. Let's just uh, remove that negative sign. So we have negative 1 here also. So cancel that. So y is equal to uh, positive 2. So let's try to check if our answer is uh, correct by uh, using any of these equations again and then substi let's substitute the values of x and y. So we have here, so let's say I'm going to use the second equation. We have 2x plus y is equal to 8 and then 2 times x which is 3 plus y which is 2 is equal to 8. So 2 times 3 that is 6 plus 2 we have 8. Okay, so 8 is equal to 8. So that means our answer is uh, our our values of x and y are correct, okay? There you go. As you can see here in the board, uh, meron tayong example dito. Let's try to solve this one by elimination. Now, in elimination, as I've said, uh, in the first example, uh, yung first example ko, yung coefficients ng y, pareho siya. Uh, I mean, like, the, just the number, not the sign. We have 1 and 1. But in this second example, I have here negative 3y, and then this is positive, positive 7, pati si x, yung numerical coefficients din magkaiba. Okay? So, I would love to eliminate y. Why? Bakit? Kasi uh, y has the, the opposite side, uh, signs. Okay? So it's better, it's easier to eliminate. Now, how to eliminate this one? Okay? So take note, you have decided, after deciding what variable you're going to eliminate, check this one. Since y, uh, kung ano yung numerical coefficients, yun yung i-multiply natin. Okay? So numerical coefficients dito, magiging multiplier mo dito numerical coefficient ng y magiging multiplier mo dito, okay? So, kung ano yung gusto mong eliminate ng variable, yun yung uh, numerical coefficient nila, yun yung i-multiply nyo dito oppositely, okay? So, ayun. Uh, never mind the sign kasi yung sign, uh, opposite na siya. So, we can just eliminate it easily, okay? But later on, I'm gonna give example of like both positive and both negatives. Okay, so, after this one, so we have C here, 7 times uh, 2x, that is 14x, minus 7 times negative 3y, that is 21y, negative 21, 7 times negative 14, that is equal to negative 98, okay? So, and then 3 times 15, uh, 5, that is 15x, okay? 15x, uh, 3 times positive 7y, that is 21y, is equal to 3 times 23, that is 69, okay? There you go. And so, adding that, eliminating uh, y, so this one cancel, kasi 21y minus 21y, that is 0, okay? So, we have to add this one, 14x plus 15x, that is 29x, okay? is equal to negative 98 plus 69. Okay, so negative and positive. So, minus lang natin siya. So, that's 29. And then, after deducting, ano yung sign ng pinakamalaking number? Mas malaki si 98. So, sign niya is negative. So, just copy that. Okay? And so, we divide this one by 29. Kung anong numerical coefficient kasi we're looking for the value of x. And then, 29 also. Okay? So, x is equal to negative 29 divided by 29. That is negative 1. Okay? There you go. That's negative 1. And then, we're solving for the y. Okay? So, you can use either equation 1 or equation 2. Okay? Any, any of them. Uh, either of them. I'm sorry. So, we say, uh, I'll use number 1 kasi mas smaller siya and it will save you time. Uh, especially when you're taking the test. So, we say, 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 14. And so, 2 times 
our x is negative 1, so we have negative 1 here, minus 3y is equal to negative 14. Okay, so this is negative 2 minus 3y is equal to negative 14. Now, transpose natin si two, negative 2 in the other side, that becomes positive. So we say 3y, negative 3y is equal to negative 14 plus 2. Negative 14 plus 2, that becomes negative 12, right? Kasi mas malaki si 14, so that's like uh, 14, subtract nyo siya, so 14 minus 2, that is 12. And then, ano, sino yung may pinakamalaking sign si 14, di ba? So, ano yung sign ni 14? That is negative, okay? And so, we have here negative 3y. And then, divide natin ng negative 3, and then negative 3. So, our y is equal to negative 12 divided by negative 3, dividing uh, ne both negatives, positives, okay? That's positive 4. So, our y is positive 4. Okay, so let's try to check if our answers are correct by using, uh, by substituting the, these values, the answers that we got, uh, to the, 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 va the, the, the values of x and y in any uh, either of the equations. Okay, so I'll, I'll use one again, or second equation. So we say 5x plus 7y is equal to 23. Okay, so 5 times our x is negative 1, okay, plus 7 times our y is 4, okay, is equal to 23. And then, this is 5 times negative 1, that is negative 5, and then plus 28, because 7 times 4 is 28, is equal to 23. And then 28, negative 5 plus 28, or 28 minus 5, that is 23, is equal to 23, okay? So our answers are correct, if they are equal. Okay, so as I've said, magbibigay pa na example na pareho yung signs ng y or x, okay? So positive, positive, si x, and then negative, negative, si y. Now, uh, when you are deciding which uh, variable you are going to eliminate, you'll just have to decide which one or uh, which uh, numerical coefficients or which variables have the lowest or lower numerical coefficients, okay? So, compare here, our y's, neg uh, 4 and 7, disregard the sign, okay? So, that's 4 and 7 and this one is 3 and 2. So, x has the smaller uh, the smaller coefficients compared to y okay so that's uh, i'm now i'm deciding to eliminate x y kasi mas smaller ng ang numerical coefficients ng x and uh why like that also another reason is that you are you will be dealing with small numbers okay kasi kung y gamitin natin yung multipliers natin masyadong malaki so you'll be you'll be dealing with big numbers whereas kung si x ang gamitin natin which have the the lower uh, numerical coefficients we will be dealing with the smaller numbers numbers okay so first thing as i've said okay para makapag eliminate tayo i ano lang natin yung values ng x kasi I'm, i decided to eliminate x now paano natin ano so that is uh, exchange lang sila diba this is 2 and this is 3 okay now since pareho sila ng sign, kung i-multiply natin, magiging 9x. I-eliminate natin, that means we are always have we uh, always have to make it 0. But this one becomes two, 3 times 2x, that is 6x. And then this one is also 6x. Both are positive. We cannot eliminate it kasi pa both positive, i-add natin, magiging 6x plus 6x, that is 12x. We cannot cancel it into 0. So one of them must be negative, okay? So this one is negative 2. I'll decide negative 2 or you can make neg a 3 as negative, okay? One of them must be negative. Kasi parehong, pag parehong positive, uh, one is negative of the multipliers. Pag one is negative, the other one is positive. Lahat positive lang yung multiplier natin, ha? Para mas madali. Okay, so there you go. So, two, negative 2 times 3x, that is negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 4y, we have positive 8y. Because multiplying two negatives, but that's positive. Negative 2 times negative 6, that is 12, positive. And then, 3 times 2, that is 6x. And then, negative 3 and positive uh, positive 3 and negative 7y we have 21y right negative and then 3 times this one that is negative 12 there you go now cancel si x natin kasi pa negative and positive na siya so negative 6x uh, plus x or 6x minus x does 0 and then this one negative uh, what's that uh, 8y minus 21y so ang sagot natin dito is negative 13y, okay? So, i-minus lang natin. 21 minus 8, kasi opposite side sila. Uh, opposite sign sila. So, 21 minus 8, that is 13. Ano yung uh, sign ng pinaka uh, may mas malaking number? 21 is mas malaki sa 8. So, ano yung sign ng 21? Kopya nyo na lang. Okay? Ganon siya. Ganon sa mag-ano ng uh, addition ng signed numbers on, or subtraction. And then, 12 minus 12, that is 0. Okay? So, 
divided by negative 13, divided by negative 13, cancel this one. So y is equal to 0 divided by negative 13, that is 0. So our value of y is 0. Next one, we're, we're solving for x. Now, uh, ah, yeah, x. It's You can use either of the equations to solve for x, okay? So now I'll take equation 2 or second equation. Okay, so we say 2x minus 7y is equal to negative 4. And then 2, 2 times x, okay, minus 7 times our y is 0. Substitute that and then negative 4. So 2x minus 0, okay? So 2x is equal to negative 4. So ganun yung mangyayari dyan. And so divided by 2, divided by 2 because we're looking for the value of x, cancel that. So x is equal to negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2. So our value of x is negative 2. Now let's try to check. Okay, ito yung values natin. You can use uh, either of the equations, okay? So I'll use number 1. So 3x minus 4y is equal to negative 6. 3 times our x is negative 2 minus 4 times y is 0. Okay, is equal to negative 6. And then this one, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. And then minus 0 is equal to negative 6. So negative 6 is equal to negative 6. Ganon siya. Okay, so our answer is which are x is equal to negative 2 and y is 0 are correct. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, solve systems of uh, system of linear equations in two variables and uh, by substitution method. Okay, so by substitution the same example with, with what I use in the uh, uh, elimination method, okay? So, shall I say this one, 3x minus 7 is equal to 7, at uh, 3x minus y is equal to 7, and 2x plus y is equal to 8. Let's try to uh, solve this one by substitution, okay? So, this is the first equation and the second equation. Now, um, I'll be going to solve the second one, because uh, if we're going to solve this one, I think this one is more complicated to explain. I mean, like, I can explain it, but uh, I think it's more complicated, but this one is just easy, because this is plus the y. I am solving for the y, kasi, bakit si y ang mas mabilis na isolve sa substitution? Kasi si y, ang numerical coefficient niya is just 1. So, wala kayong dapat alalahanin dyan. So, I'll solve for equation number 2, so we say 2x, solve for y, okay? Uh... So, dali natin, let's bring 2x in the other side. So, we say y is equal to negative 2x plus 8, right? So, negative 2x. We like negative kasi positive siya dito. So, when, you're trans we're, when we are going to transpose it, it becomes uh, negative. So, this one, uh, this is now our y, okay? So, substituting this value of y in the first equation, kasi second equation ginamit natin, so, i-substitute natin sa sa uh, first equation. Kung first equation ang gagawin nyo, substitute nyo sa second equation. Okay? Ganun lang siya. So, since y is equal to negative 2x plus 8, substitute natin siya dito. Okay? So, ito siya. Itong value na to. So, we say, 3x minus y is equal to 7 and then, 3x minus negative 2x plus 8 Okay? Is equal to 7. This one, multiply this uh, understood one here. Multiply natin sa lahat ng nasa loob. So, we say, 3x, negative 1 times negative 2x, that's plus 2x. And then negative uh, 1 times positive 8, that is minus 8, is equal to 7. Okay, so adding this to all x, so we have 5x. And then, dali natin, let's bring it here, kasi uh, wala siyang variable, so it becomes positive. So that is 7 plus 8. And so this one, this is divided by 5, divided by 5. So x, 7 plus 8, that's 15. Okay over 5 or equal to 3 equals to 3 okay so ganun yung ano natin x now solving for y since you already have the value of x solving for y dito natin siya kunin okay so we say y is equal to negative 2x plus 8 so this one y is equal to negative 2 times 3 plus 8 okay and so this one negative 2 plus 3 that is negative 6 plus 8 Okay, so y is equal to negative 6 plus 8, mas malaki si 8, so we just 8 minus 6, so that is 2. Okay, y is 2. To check if our uh, answers are correct, let's use, uh, you can use equations 1 or 2, okay? So I'll use equation 2, so we have 2x plus y is equal to 8. So 2 times x is 3, so we say 3, plus y which is 2, okay, so that is 8. So, 2 times 3, that is 6, plus 2 is equal to 8. 8 is equals to 8, okay? So, our answers are correct. 
Okay. okay, so when are we going to use the elimination and sub, uh, substitution methods? Okay, so when are we going to use them? When you are deciding which method you are going to use, eh, uh, would it be elimination and substitution? Actually, pwede naman sila sa lahat-lahat. Uh, pwede sila, yung dalawa na yun, yung elimination at saka substitution, pwede silang gamitin uh, in all types of, of linear uh, systems of linear equations like this. But when it comes to test taking, it's a different thing, okay? So when you are taking the test, you are saving time. So the, in this time, I'm gonna teach you which strategy you're going to use, okay? So this one. Now, uh, pag yung ano, pag yung numerical coefficients ng x, okay? Numerical coefficients are the numbers. Pag numerical coefficients ng x at saka y, ganito sila. Uh, my numbers, I mean like more than one or less than one. Okay, so like this one, 4, negative 5, 3, and 2, hindi sila 1, uh, do the elimination method. Okay, elimination method. Uh, in here naman, kasi pag dinil mo siya, pag dinil mo siya ng uh, substitution, magiging ano na siya, fractional, yung ano niya, fraction yung magiging one of the variables, so it's, it's, uh, it will take time. Ganun yung reason dyan. Same as number 2, elimination method. Number 3 naman, uh, when to use the substitution method ito, pag one of the variables okay, x, x, y, y one of the variables has numerical coefficients or yung number nila is 1 you can use either elimination or uh, elimination or substitution or, but pag isa lang yung ano exclusive lang siya uh, say substitution, okay din dito okay, or elimination pero sa substitution, okay din siya dito but in here, uh, substitution is hard, harder, kasi uh, the result will become uh, what's this? A fraction. I'll show you. Like shall I say, I'll use, I'll use, uh, I'll be solving, I'll be solving y. Okay, I'll be solving y in the first equation. So we say this one, five uh, x minus three y is equal to seven, and then negative uh, three y is equal to transpose. Natin yan sa kabila, magiging negative five x plus seven. And then divided by negative 3, divided by negative 3. Okay? So, our y is equal to negative 5x plus 7 over negative 3. So, ganyan palang fractional, fractional na siya. Hindi na siya pwedeng, uh, it will take time. Pwede naman siya, pero it will take time. Uh, uh, our aim here is to save time. Okay? So, in this case, hindi siya pwedeng uh, substitution, elimination lang dapat. Mas mabilis yung elimination dito. But in this case, pag may uh, variable, I mean, yung isang variable, may numerical coefficients ng 1, you can just... Uh, you can use both elimination and substitution substitution method, okay? So, in here, we can say that uh, first equation, we can solve the value of y, which is uh, 4x minus y is equal to 4, and then negative y is equal to negative 4x, magiging negative si x, uh, 4x kasi transpose sa kabila, and then plus 4. So, this one is negative divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1, so you can cancel that. So, y is equal to negative, negative, we say positive 4x, and then positive divided by negative 1, that is minus 4. So, ganun siya. Pwede mo siya magamit. Pwede mo siya magamit in this case. Pero, I would advise na kung, ano, mas mabilis yung elimination method, or pag may 1 yung variable, uh, 1 yung coefficient, numerical coefficient ng variable, pwede kayong gumamit ng substitution method. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. I hope this one helps you a lot guys, see you in my next video.